It's day 149. Of the 29th year and beyond. And um, I had an interesting occurrence. Um, uh, while working, I came across an old Bic pen, a little Bic ballpoint pen. Wow. Um, when I picked up the pen, I, and I had not seen one of these pens. I don't even know if they still make them. I'm assuming <laughs> that they do. Yeah. But um, when I picked up the pen, I just had like this wave hit me of emotion. And I was like, what in the world is going on? And in that moment, um, what I realized is that I remember using pens like this when I was in elementary school. It was a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Um, but in that moment, uh, it took me back to what was a simpler time for me. Um, because we live in a world where there is so much vitriol now. Um, there is so much hateful uh, speech and attack in our politics and in the world and it just seems like people are so callous and and cold and uncaring and um, interestingly enough this pen took me back to a place where was it was nostalgic but a, a, a time and a place that I miss as far as just how people respected one another and how people, nothing was perfect and, you know, uh, we still had ills to deal with within the world. But um, in that moment, in that one object, I mean, it just, it just took me back to a place then and heightened my awareness to how I'm exhausted now with all of the evil and the madness that we're dealing with. It took you back to then. You know, it took you back to a time when people cared about each other and um, people courted one another. Um, you cared what happened to someone in someone's day. And there wasn't so much um, uh, in your face. And I think that's one of the challenges um, that everything faces, but especially relationships too. Because it's so much coming at you at one time. You know, you've got the stuff on the internet and you've got the stuff that's on TV and then everything's in the moment everything's right there in that minute and um i know we talked about the october thing that nobody really knew about when you were born when you were scheduled to be born mm. but it was a simpler time and because it's not it's just so much this that comes into play into a relationship so much that comes in play into everyday life i know for myself you know you get up in the morning almost some and i'm one i'm guilty one of the first things i do is check my cell phone to see if I miss any calls, are there any text messages that I need to attend to, you know, and then, and when I think back, before there were cell phones, what would I have done mm -hmm. then? Or what did you or do? Or what did I do then? Yeah. You know. Um, with that said, I, I just want to heighten your awareness to the fact that uh, with all that is wrong with the world, that's why we have to be intentional about making this relationship the very best that it can be uh, because <clears throat> I can't get back the time where I was a kid, right? None of us can. All we have is where we are. And so we have to make the best of it. And so with that said, uh, what this also did is heighten my awareness to the fact of why it is so important for Gail and I to share our love and to uh, focus on what really matters, which are our relationships, our relationship with God, and our relationship with family and friends. Um, in the busyness of the world, it's so easy to get caught up with so many things, and it appears that people have lost the ability to interact, uh, have lost a genuine care and concern on a lot of levels, um, have lost the ability to be civil. Um, all the more reason why be intentional about being loving in a love relationship. I agree. And as we, last night, Fred and I and my sister, we celebrated, the um, went to celebrate a, a friend's birthday. And his wife threw a very simple birthday party for him. And, um... But the outpouring of love. Yes, yes, And how yes. he impacted the lives of so many people. 
it was just a blessing to be able to be there and to be a part of that. And it was the simplicity of it that was so beautiful. Um, because it was about the relationships. So until tomorrow, if the Lord says the same, love one another authentically and enjoy the journey. Bye.